if I haven't mentioned it before, um, I've been around grouting, obviously I haven't cleaned up, but uh, a few days, well last week actually, I've done the, uh, done the grouting, and what I'm going to do um, at some point this week is half fill the bath with water, and then I'm going to go around the edges with silicon sealant. Uh, let that go off and then empty the water out. This weekend the project is to pipe up this which I'm a bit disappointed with the standard of the pipes where they come up through the floor they've been quite badly damaged by the plumbers that have fitted them. I was hoping I might just get away but I don't know if you can see it But that's all badly damaged in this one. Even more so. Um, I'm going to put chrome pipe up to them, but I have a feeling it may be a little bit uh, uh, fingernail biting. Anyway, that's the plan for this weekend. Today is the day for plumbing. These, which a very kind gentleman bent for me, chrome 15mm pipe. I'm going to attempt to fit into the bottom of there and link up with these pipes. I'm going to cut out some more to get at it. I'll try and get something fireproof underneath there. And do the first joint here, up into there. Possibly another a joint there and across, but to get this you have to sand off emery cloth off the chrome finish. This is the one that concerns me because there isn't a lot and I think I'm going to have to go out onto the landing and take the carpet and the floorboards up there and break into it somewhere in this region. We shall see. Barring leaks, which I sincerely hope there isn't, that is it. Um, I've got one or two other little jobs to do before I fill the system up, so we shall see. I bought this stuff, which is Hardy Backer board, 12mm, half inch and um, what I've done is put a strip along the bottom which is going to be fixed which is where the PVC skirting board is going to be and on top of that there's going to be three parts that's this large part is the middle part basically between that upright there that upright there and then two pieces which are going to be either end um reason for making it is that if there's any problem uh, with anything leaking under the bath, I won't be able to get to it. Plus, at that end, which I'll turn my light on, um, are the two stop taps. So, if you want to change the bath tap, etc., then... That's where you switch the water off and to get to it obviously you need access. So um, I've thought about how I'm going to put it on plus be removable and I came across these which if I can get it to focus are called button fixes. That's it. Button fix. And the idea is the bracket is screwed on to one part and then these fit in between them. The only thing is that these are quite bloody tight. Get these to go in. 
It's quite odd and to get them out is quite odd. The bath side um, made out of hardy backer and the other ten three pieces and the screws you can see sticking out are just purely what um, I'm using to pull the things on and off because they fun they fastened because they fastened with these button fixes which when they pushed in uh, can be quite hard to get out anyway what I'm doing at the moment is putting trim all the way around the middle section and then I'm starting on the left hand and finish off on the right hand and the idea is to put the trim on and then put the tiles in afterwards so it gives something to support the tiles uh, hopefully I can get the tiling done tomorrow if I can get the trim finished off tonight this is the trim finished Use the headlight. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of trim when I got to this end. In fact, I ran out on the bottom, so I had to uh, bodge a couple of pieces together. This doesn't really matter because the actual sink unit comes out about here. So actually, you'll be very limited in what you can see up there, and what you'll see will be tile. You just won't see the edge of the trim, because obviously there won't be any. But, uh, just ready, ready for tiling now. This is the main side panel. I did this last night. Um, I've got to yeah, clean it up and then grout it, so hopefully it won't look too bad. So today um, is putting down the laminate vinyl flooring, put it on the side of the bath. At the moment I'm still not sure whether it's going to go this way. same way as the existing floorboards. Got to make your mind up in the next half an hour. We'll see. Been a long day today. Um, I put in the vinyl flooring. Uh, I put the tiled side on the bath, which I'm not hundred percent happy with. I wish basically I'd have just fixed the middle piece and perhaps left the two end pieces. Um, but. I've tried it. I think it's mainly because the hardy backer is bowed slightly. And you try and get one end in, it pushes the other one out. Anyway, it's on for better or for worse. I don't I don't want to spend any more time on it until I've had enough. Um with the vinyl floor going down, I've been round and basically finished off the skirting board. Um I only just had enough of that to leave that part behind the toilet because I bought a five metre piece which was £15 and basically I've got about an inch left and um, certainly got my money's worth out of it. I don't want to buy another um, £15 piece for the sake of a few inches so uh, this is um, I put um, I put the sink in. This is, should be the final fitment of the sink now. Um, other than 
um, silicon in around the edges uh, I think that's it um, the toilet I've got to basically uh, cut out uh, some backer board these two PCs figure a way out of framing it behind then I'm going to cut two tiles across and down across and down so that you can, all you can see is tile these two will be removable um, the one I did in the en suite, what I did is actually round the edge of the tile I put silicon sealant, let it go off and then pushed it in and it acts like a rubber gasket holds it in place and I may well do that again um, so it's not too far off finished uh, what else I've got to do, I've got silicon around the bath, silicon around the niche, silicon up the edge of the walls, the mop up by the way was for getting the water out of the toilet, uh, fresh water not, not pooey water, um, and then put a blind up, I'm going to put the vertical blind up, uh, I'm buying a second hand one and get new slats. So, not too far.